What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Nita Podcast, episode 75. Man, they wanted energy. They wanted it in the chat. I said the chat needs to bring the energy. Those are the ones that need to bring the energy. You guys got to bring the energy, man, because we have a lot to talk about today. Now, I'm not at home. I'm at my girl's house. I am in Ohio. Why am I here? People tell me this. Uh, people ask me these things all the time. Why am I here? I streamed here last night. This is a, a wall. It's a white wall behind me. Um, since quarantine, my girl came out with me, all this virus. So I hope all you guys are being safe. By the way, all you guys are being safe, man, because it is kind of super crazy. I don't know if you guys have gone out vegetable shopping or, you know, any type of shopping have gone outside in the last two weeks. It's pretty crazy. Now, um, she works, uh, for like, you know, little special cases with kids and child, you know, with like autistic children and things like that. She's a caseworker. And she could work from home for sure, but so when she was told that, she came out to stay with me. But two weeks into that, they told her, you're not allowed to work out of state. So we came back to her place, and uh, I came with her because I don't know what the hell is going to happen the next three weeks, two weeks, two months. So uh, I am here. I brought absolutely everything that I have. When I say that, I mean my laptop, my computers, my monitors, my Xbox, my PlayStation, my mic, my camera. Everything to make sure the show does not stop. You know what I'm saying that is uh, what I do, so that is why I'm here. A lot of people ask me the last couple nights while I've been streaming. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, it's been pretty scary. Uh, I went to Costco the other day, and they we had to like wait in line to get into the uh, Costco. They only let a hundred people in there, or so and it was pretty nuts. So I don't hope you guys are all. No, I definitely, yes, I definitely took everything out of my apartment that has any type of value. You know what I'm saying? I got the salts. Crazy story was, while we were packing up my stuff, she is the one that packed up the salts and the eye black and my rally cap and my Call of Duty hat. She's like, you need these for the stream. I said, okay, say no more. Uh, so, that's all. And I got to keep working. You know, obviously, I feel like a, a blessing in that uh, as gamers and streamers, we kind of have the best job in this uh, quarantine or during this time. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all coming by the podcast. It was a big week in Madden. I guess I hope all you guys watched all the shows, man. Because when I say all the shows, I mean all the games. All these LCQ games that went down. I hope all you guys watched them. Did you enjoy the games? As I, as, as I preface this entire discussion about the LCQ, I want to ask you guys... What was your favorite game to watch? What was the most memorable game that you guys watched in the last week? You know, that's what I want to ask you guys. Uh, when I look at it, I mean, I, I'm not sure which game I thought was the best or you know, anything like that, man. But for me, uh, always good. Spoto and Skimbo. That's, that's it. It's a Spoto versus Skimbo game. Uh, it's pretty much must watch TV, I guess, pretty much whenever they play, ever since the. Uh, you're not going to get in my head game. Ever since that game, uh, when it's a play, it's pretty much locked in. I think uh, Spoto was pretty good, especially with his mother yelling at him while he was playing. That was pretty cool. Uh, definitely watched that. Spoto game was lit. Uh, yeah, Big Dick Nick made a good run on Xbox, right? He, or was he on, he was on PlayStation. I forget. I can't lie. I played in it. I got popped. I, I, I played for about an hour and a half and was out of there, you know. So for me, after that... Kind of like, this is how a tournament kind of works, for, for me at least. I don't know about you guys. Um, so I got popped, so I'm out of it. Now it's like I, I avert my attention to my friends. And then Skimbo got popped, and then Radiant kind of, we'll talk about Radiant, kind of, he had to withdraw from the competition. So my friends were kind of out. After that, it's like, ah, I don't really care about the rest of you assholes, honestly. But, uh, and that, especially right during the time, like, after you lose or after your friends lose, it's like you really don't lock in for the rest of the tournament. You know what I'm saying? But we, we could talk the Skimbo game. Uh, yeah, it was entertaining. Uh, that was a Skimbo-esque game. It definitely was. Uh, I mean, pretty much every game. I don't know. I The biggest, I don't know. Uh, it was a couple games ended on block field goals. Now, block field goals, you bring up block field goals. That's a good point. Um, and, and it's easy to say block field goals suck. You know, it's, and, and and if we all could agree, 
we all would agree to get rid of block field goals completely from the game. We would all do that. We would all sign up for that. If, they, if EA came out with a little petition and said, can you sign up for this field goal to block field goal, get them out of the game, then we would do that. Like, we would, no doubt about it, get rid of field goals out of the game, right? Or block field goals out of the game. Now, for me at the same time, man, if there's two ways to avoid the, the block field goal, honestly. Um, one... You get a perfect kick, which obviously is not the easiest thing. It's easier said than done, especially when you're iced, right? But at the same time, if you don't get a perfect kick, and when it is iced, you have no idea whether you got a perfect kick or not, uh, you definitely got to hold that thing down to at least 10 seconds on the play clock or 5 seconds on the play clock, whatever it may be. Those are the two things you have as an offensive player to make sure your field goal does not get blocked. Now, the clip that I saw, I believe the only block field goal clip I saw was Allen's first block field goal that then was returned for a touchdown. And for me, I felt like he didn't hold hold that kick as long as he could. He let it go right away pretty much and let the opponent get the timing to block the kick. So for me, cry me a river, bro. I, I, I Honestly, I feel like oh, you can do better, honestly. You know, so for me, it's like... For me, it's a little, it's a little rough to. Uh, I want to say what I'm saying. It's a little rough to complain about it when you don't take all the measures that we have as players. If you're not going to take all the measures we have as players, then I mean, how can we then turn around and blame the game? You know, that's just how I feel about it. You know, but like you guys said, so so you want to say the Skimbo game? It reminded me a lot of, you know, just watching Skimbo and. Uh, it's easy to say, man, bro, why he don't get out of one four six? Why he don't get out of one four? Why he doesn't get out of, you know, why is he letting him run the ball so much? And for me, I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But at the same time, man, Skimbo is the best at stopping the run out of that. Uh, he has a lot of reps. He's probably played more to get more of the game than anybody I know. And he has a lot of reps against every offense. So he felt confident in his ability to stop the run out of 146. So if he felt confident in that, he's going to stay in it. Because, uh, bro, there's a few. Uh, 146 is definitely, once they get to the second level, you can pretty much forget about it. The safeties run 75 speed. Yes, it's over. But, I mean, the only thing you can do is hope to get him before that. And honestly, he, he is really good at that. Uh, yeah, I think the fourth down play call was like, honestly, the fourth and goal, one of the biggest weaknesses, we talk about all the time, one of the biggest, I don't know, a weakness is not having a, a running back. One of the most things you like to do is come out in that near that fullback dive that everybody runs, right? But then audible to stretch, and you audible to the stretch with the bubble. The problem with that is when you run your fullback in there, you're running to a different running back than when you audible up the stretch. So when you're in there, you have fat ass, who's it, Rex Burkhead, and when you audible up, you have Chris Johnson in the backfield. So just another salary cap thing where you don't have that many running backs and you don't have the right player, especially when you're a passing offense, you're not going to have two running backs or something of that nature. Um, actually, one of the benefits for a lot of bunch of people that would use fullbacks at tight end because you could have a fullback and a running back when you go to near or eye tight or whatever it may be. Um, so for me, definitely tough. Uh, no, I don't have clips of the game. I believe they might be on Spoto's uh, Twitch. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I, I mean, the way I see it is there's so many games. That it's like, why would you show clips of one game and not the other game? And blah, like, There's so many different games to talk about that were great. Um, so for me, I, I'm not really interested in really going uh I didn't know you. Could, I didn't know you could put your tight end at, and I guess you can. Yeah, I guess you put your tight end at fullback. I guess shit. You know, fancy versus salty. There you go. God damn, my neck hurts. But uh, yeah, so let's talk about the the. Let's talk about the the Xbox, which is pretty much just TNC, which is just an absolute like travesty that these guys uh are all on the same system hey at one point you gotta <laughs> you gotta kind of get 
together and this decide, all right, I'm gonna run this, I'm gonna run this you know, system and you run the other system. And for people for them to be on the same system is actually kind of criminal for those guys to eventually knock each other off is pretty rough. So I don't know whose decision this was. Maybe these guys don't have PlayStations or whatever it may be. But I mean, right here, first one fancy getting knocked out by this man. Essentially, they're all going to get knocked out by each other. You know, that's pretty much how it's going to work. You know, I believe, yeah, this was the winner's bracket. As we see, look, J-Wall J knocking out Civil. You know, so for me, I, I honestly, yeah, they play real good at this time of the year, man. They're really, they're really probably playing the best of anybody, you know. And honestly, they've been grinding the game the whole year, uh, especially a lot the last couple of weeks, yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, it was D. Croft that was able to beat Justin and then beat J. Wall. And he is in the lead right now in the, uh, whatchamacallit? What is this shit called? The winner's bracket. He is in the lead. He is the number one guy. So he has... Now, I, I would you guys say this is a pressure spot to be in? Oh, no. I want to be on this one. Do you think this is like... A, obviously, this is the best spot to be in, right? He is... You got to beat him twice. Like, he's pretty much... Yeah. Uh, that's tough. Is that... But it's like... It's a tough spot. A lot of times when you get in these situations, you know, a, a lot has been said about, especially more so when you're at live tournaments than these online long extended tournaments. But a lot of times when you get to a live tournament, right, um, you'll get to a point where, okay, Decroft wins the winner bracket. Now he sits down for five hours and lets the loser bracket finish. And he hasn't played for five hours. And then he'll be a little bit cold as opposed to whoever the hell wins this. Whoever the hell wins this is going to be, you know, blazing hot, ready to go in. But like I said, we have Justin Fancy, uh, Anna Banana, who's as J Wall, obviously. Well, I don't know if you guys know that, but Justin Fancy and Anna Banana is J Wall. So, I mean, we'll see. And we get to the point where it, it's, it's going to be a tough. Now, I want to ask as these guys are in the chat, like who plays each other the most? You know, that's what I want to like. How, like, are you guys like an equal opportunity team? Like, do you guys all play each other equally, or do you know does J Wall play D Croft a lot more, vice versa, or whatever it may be? What can you guys give me an answer? Like, okay, I play this guy the most, or that guy. Like, that's the question I kind of ask for you guys. Like, who who kind of teams up and pairs off in this uh, TNC group more often than not? Okay. So, so D. Croft is kind of uh, all right. Okay. Now I also I ask you guys this. I ask you guys this. If as I ask Fancy just Justin in the chat, if you guys are watching it, DK, that's Justin. I don't know why he has this terrible. Like I want to time him out. Honestly, I honestly want to time out Justin for having this shit ass Twitch handle. Um. But as I ask you guys this, man, as I ask all four of you guys this, you guys in the chat, right? If your life was on the line, right? Now, don't I don't want any questions. I just want one guy's name. If your life was on the line of your other three teammates, which is the one you would guarantee you would beat? Give me that answer. I don't want anything other than one name out of you. Just give me the name. Just Jay Wall says Justin. I want to know who is the guaranteed win for the TNC crew. Who do you feel like is the guaranteed win? Wow. All right. Decroft, you're done for 10 minutes. What a pussy ass group, bro. Decroft loses. No way he wins. No way he wins, bro. I said one name. I said one. All I said was type one name and nobody could, nobody, nobody could follow the rules, bro. Nobody. Nobody can follow the rules. And salty, what's it like being being like the the you know the reject of, of TNC, bro? Like you are like I mean you're not even the little man. I, I think Justin might be the little man of TNC, bro. Salty, you're like Jeez. 
He's definitely not little man, bro. Salty is like, he might be the Jaybird of TNC, bro. Oh hell! You thought he was he was number one. Okay, okay, okay. Salty, you were the franchise. Who did Salty get popped by? Let's look at this bracket, man. Salty, who popped your shit? Obviously, fancy did. Boo popped your shit down here. Fancy is the franchise. Oh. Big Nick popped your shit? Yo, Big Nick was making runs down here. Like, run runs. Damn. Big Nick popped your shit. Yo, Big Nick was not bad, bro. Not shit. He's better than me. Damn, it's a lot of dudes. All right, do we just put some salt, you know, salty, bro? Big Nick, bro. I'm a big Nick. Big Nick. I mean, listen, that lets you guys know, bro. I'll tell you one thing: we'll never do, and we all have to continue to do that. We gotta like. We we gotta stop like just because we don't know who the guy is. The, he could be tough, right? You know what I'm saying. He could be tough. Like, we have to realize that. Just because he's not in the, on the Twitch chat or he's not in some group, and that, he could be tough. Like, he's playing the game just as much as everybody else. Lady, did you put creams? Yes. Whipped cream? Yes. And a little bit of cream. Oh, you got freaky. Yeah. Thank you, Lee. I needed this coffee. That's what I'm saying. Like, the one thing... We got to realize it's, it's all about names, bro. It's not, it's not never mind, obviously. It's not always about the name. Bro. And that's one thing we always tend to do is just, oh, Ghost is tough because he's Ghost. But no, Big Nick, Big Nick popped that shit. And we got to realize, man, it's a lot of Big Nicks out there that's ready to play. And are playing the shit out of the game, all right? Yeah, I saw the Buccaneers' new uniforms. Let's do a segment on the Buccaneers' new uniforms, man. Matt, man, I love you, man. You, you, you a true supporter, man. But let's really do a segment on, on the Buccaneers' new uniforms. No, but there, honestly, there's people in every Madden game that come up out of nowhere that nobody knows that pop off. You know what I'm saying? And we can't... Uh, and, and every single year. It's not one year like, oh, the game is better so no bums play. Or no new guys pop up. New people pop up all the time that are playing the shit out of Madden. No, chat for real. Let's. Let, I want you guys to comment on what the Buccaneers. That, Cause this is this is the whole point. Honestly, no, this is the whole point. We played the Mickey Mouse Club. This whole point of the podcast. It's about you guys, man. So let's talk about the Buccaneers New Jerseys. Let's do it. I I saw them. You know, in the middle of the TNC discussion. Cause let's be honest, the TN, the TNC discussion kind of boring. Yeah, they're good at Madden, but what do they really add to the table other than that? You know, and that's what I ask you guys. What else do they bring to the table? Okay. So, I, it's only so much I can talk about hitches and, and, and drags, you know? Look at these fucking losers. Uh, do they have the... Is this the same black guy in every picture? This gotta be the same player, bro. This one million percent is the same player. Oh, we don't care. All right, we're off the uniforms. I, I thought the uniform. I thought the uniform talk was good. I mean, we listen. That lets you know the show can go anywhere. It can go from uniforms to talking about Jake and everything. Like you know what I'm saying. I thought they were the same black guys. That I, I I really thought they were the same black guy. It's never, in fact, it's never a white guy in a preview of the jerseys, bro. They got Tom Brady. They couldn't put Tom Brady there. 
social distancing, bro. I'm telling you, that looked like the same person. They had the same, they had the same nose. You know, uh, I mean. They look the same. It's not about what. I hate America, bro. I hate America. Now I'm racially profiling because I said those black guys look the same, bro. They look like the same black guy. Not every black guy looks like those black guys, but they look like the same black guy. That's all. Those three people looked similar. They had a similar look. Does that never happen? You know what I'm saying? Bugs looks like Legend, right? If Bugs and Legend did a fucking photo shoot, we would say, damn, those guys look alike, right? Am I wrong for saying that? Am I wrong? That's all I'm saying. I don't think it's I don't think I'm profiling. I just think two human beings look alike, right? They had the same nose. Why can't two human beings have the same nose? Podcast is getting crazy tonight, bro. I'll the yo. Devin White, Levante David, and Chris Godwin have the same nose. Guaranteed. Every bald guy looks the same. I, Big Nick, I'm telling you, that's what happens. Bro, every bald white guy with a beard, they just tag me on Twitter. Ha ha, this is dub dub dubby. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Higgity, higgity, giggity, ga ga. All the time. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Don't this, this look like a little Starbucks? Don't look like a little Starbucks? Star and y'all, why I'm out here? Why I moved my computer out here? I get in-house Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? All the time, man. Bro, I hurt my neck bad as shit. The biggest problem, right? So last night was the first night like I streamed all night. I don't know how people stream during the day. Like like the Bugs hours? No, I can't do that. I can't do the Bugs hours streaming. I can't, I just can't do it. I can't do the Bugs hours streaming. I don't like the people that watch stream during the day. I don't like you guys. I don't like people that are up at 11 a.m. Like what the fuck are you doing at 11 a.m.? Let's be real. You're not cool. You know, and I don't want to hear about work and jobs. There's no work and jobs right now. Who the hell is watching streams at 11 a.m.? I can't, I can't get jiggy with that crowd. I can't. I might have to one day, but the books hours, that's not for me. I like the 10 p.m. to when I fall asleep. That's all. And those are the real ones, right? Honest hours, honest hours. On, yeah, honest hour. I, listen, I don't want to talk to people that are at work because I feel like I'm disturbing. I want to talk to people that's, you know, playing a game like me, you know? The brunch vibe. I'm not brunch hour. Do I look like the brunch hour type? No. Yeah, 10 p.m. to 9.30 a.m., something like that. Now, this is the first time I did that at the, her place, right? But she has no drapes or no curtains, bro. So the blinds only do so much. So every room in this place is fucking like, it's like, it's like laying outside in the sun. Every damn, you, there's no, everything's bright as hell. So it was hard as it was hard as hell to sleep today. Bo's on one hour shift. Nah, but anyway, so TNC, like I said, the one thing they need to do, I feel like they've won a, a little bit of money this year. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess if they're in the last chance, they haven't won that much money. Um, is buy some PlayStations, bro. Split it up. Civil got popped the most. Civil's out, bro. But Civil won a club. So that's what I'm saying. Salty, yo, you got to get on PlayStation, bro. Go bring your ass over there. Right? I don't know how to do it. Do you think they should split up equally? I guess, like, like the, the number one seed of the year should stay on Xbox. Number two should go PlayStation. Three should stay on Xbox. Yo, split this shit up. You know what I'm saying? No, I just... I, I don't know, man. I feel like you guys... You guys gotta do better, man. We can't be out here knocking each other out. That, that shit's... Like... 
what I'm saying? Can't be doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? First of all, everybody gets everybody gets well Decroft, I just gave Decroft his mind back for first of all. I just timed him out because he said because he didn't answer the question properly. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Salty's a grinder, bro. I'll tell you that. That's another thing. Like, Salty, yo, he's a grinder. You got to respect some grinders. You got to. And eventually, and Salty loves man. See, I used to think this about Jay Bird, bro. I, like, two years ago when Jay Bird was, like, when he beat won his one game he ever won, when he beat Kid with a black field goal, when he won that game. Like, because, honestly, nobody knew who the hell Jay Bird was until he blocked Kid's field goal. Right? Oh, who the fuck is Jay Bird? Like, what? Okay. Then I look at Jay Bird like, yo, he's a grinder, bro. He loves Madden. He's going to be great one day. I'm still waiting for the he's going to be great. Because, honestly, he hasn't put it together. But I thought he's a grinder. Jay Bird's a grinder. Like, Salty. Salty and Jay Bird, I see a lot of comparisons, bro. They're both kind of ass, but they both grind the hell out the game. And they're both want to be great. So I feel like one day those group of players, those group of guys are going to be good, and they're going to have their run. Salty might have a run where he makes the Final Four some major. Same thing with Jay Bird. You never know. You know what I'm saying? But these guys grind so much. You know what I'm saying? They grind so much, eventually they're going to pop up. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. Bro, and honestly, as we look back at the Jay Bird types, And my man, Kerry Q, bro. Although these guys got popped the last tournament. or They got popped. They got banned. But I don't think there's been an easier year for runners. I don't think there's been an easier year for in the history of Madden for runners, bro. I don't think there has been. Well, there probably has been. I don't want to talk about, you know, PF, Madden 02. That fullback dive in Madden 02. I'm talking recently. Bro, so you look at Jay Bird. When, when Jay Bird looks in the mirror and says, bro, this was the runner's year and I got popped, it's going to be rough. Mo? Mo, Jay Bird? Drenny? Who won the other title? Volt? I mean, I guess Noah's shit. Have Mo always been a runner. What the? All right, Jay. All right, we're done talking about past Madden, bro. Jay Bird, bro, yo, you might have to take 10, bro. You might have to take 10. <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> what is this command? Ban Jaybird? What the? <laughs> what is this shit? Problem? Yeah, but I, honestly, I think prop. Yeah, problem. Problem could have had a good year. But it's... Bro, I, I'm going to tell you about the runners, bro. The runners are good because they're nerds, bro. They're like nerds, and they study the run. Like, they know all the little fucking runs to go to and all this. Problem, I don't know if Problem really locked in on a run like that, honestly. And and, and this goes to something Problem told me, uh, man, 18, two years. We were at, like, Ultimate League or something. And I'm like, bro, you should love this year. And he said, no, nah, man, I don't like this because I'm a runner. Runners should hate when the run is good. Because he always said to me, he said, and this opened my eyes. Because I, I was of the, of the notion, chat, that, yo, runners love when the run is good because it makes them tough. And Problem told me, no, I don't like when the run is good. He said, I'm a runner. I'm going to find a way to run the ball regardless. But now they made running easy for Tom, Dick, and Harry. Everybody can run just as good as me. I like when the run was a little tougher because I was better at it and it made me a better player. Now, because the run's so easy, everybody can run. And honestly, like, problem that, that opened my eyes like, damn, okay, that makes sense a little bit. But for me, I mean, Jay Bird, now, now Jay Bird's going to use that to, that's why I didn't succeed because the run was good for everybody. But you know. The best runners, the best runners, honestly, are just really, really good defensive players. That's why Mo. And Joke is a runner, like, what the hell? And Joke and Problem has always been good because they're good on defense. You know, where where people like Jay Bird got, Jay Bird got, you got to get the defensive side of the ball down, really. So, 
so pastors should love this year. I think pastors would like Madden 18. I think Madden 18 was a little tougher. I don't want to say Madden 18 was tougher to pass. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But that was problem. Problem opened my eyes to that as far as, uh, what was it? As far as, you know, the run being good and the run being great. You opened my eyes to that. Maybe it's not the best thing for every runner in the world, really. No, I, I, I feel like, bro, and, we, and as we go on a tangent here, I want to talk about abilities, bro. I do, because every day I wake up, you know, I wake up. This is my life, right? So I wake up, you know, you wipe the cold out of my eye, see who's this page of me and why. But I go look on Twitter, and here's fucking joke. Complain about another ability. Now, before I get into this, this, this rant, this, not this rant, but... I want to talk about Joke. Because Joke complains so much to the point, yo, he is literally the boy that cried wolf. One million percent. He is the boy that cried wolf. And I don't know if you guys know about the boy that cried wolf. I don't know if, if, if am I too old? Is that a story they don't tell you youngsters nowadays about the boy that cried wolf? Uh, but it gets to the point where it's like, yo, we really don't give a shit about what you have to say, bro. Like, seriously. And this is goes, it goes to my point where it's like, and I, I told this, I, I want to say it was last week. I said, you have to pick and choose your battles. If you try to fight every battle, you're not going to win any of them. You know? And, and we really think about it, bro, like, Joke spent half the year trying to patch escape artists. And, like, and when we look, at, when we really look at it, bro, is that is, escape artists, I feel, is the most harmless ability in the game. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's the most... And he spent half the year trying to trying to patch that. So for me, uh, I, I I feel like, bro, if you really want to get something done, if you want to do get something done, bro, you, or you want your opinion to be valued or when you get up and step and complain about something, you got to pick and choose your battles. You know? You know, uh, so for me... And, and, and that's why you look at it. That's why people with Kiv... Uh, people like Kiv or Ghost or or Skimbo or uh, people that don't really even talk. Even Problem. Problem complains and, 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 you know, wants certain things change from time to time. But not every day. But, no, if I worked the EA and Joke was there, I would say, shut the fuck up every day. For real. But at the same time, if we do go back to, uh, it is some things, I want to say, when he first started this was like the block list time, I guess, was the block list uh, complaints. What was that, Madden 17? And it's been going on for there. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, it has worked in the past, though, but I don't know, like, it's like... I don't know. And, and, this, and this whole year has just been... This whole year has just been... I don't use it, so it, let's patch it. Or I use it, so let's shut the fuck up. That's that's been the whole year, for every single person, you know. Every single person. You know, and we gotta acknowledge that. At the end of the day, people are just gonna complain about what they don't use and don't say shit about what they do use. But anyway, look. Enough of the TNC talk, but like I said, uh, as we as I round out this topic, TNC is super hell. Uh, they're playing the best ball, pretty much of anybody right now, you know. And that's why we get into one of these dudes is going to get in the Madden ball, whether it be Fancy J Wall, Justin, or D Croft, who has the driver's seat right now. One of these dudes is going to Madden ball, and they, you got to say, even with the PS4, as we're going to talk about now, you got to say they're the hottest player going right now. You know, they get into Madden ball, they match up with a Noah. And match up with a Mo or even Henry or Kiv, whatever it may be, those guys weren't locked in the same way for LCQ. Uh, it didn't work out last year. I don't remember how far uh, some serious went and uh, Sixth Sense, how far did they actually make it in the Madden Bowl. But these guys got to be the hottest players going right now. So for me, uh, they're playing really good and being really impressive. And we'll look back, and honestly, when we look about TNC uh, for the next five years, ten years, whatever it may be, this could be like the... Um, the catapult 
that they need for everything they want to do uh, in Madden and gaming. Honestly, if they take it the right way and use it the right way. And honestly, they have been. I've been seeing a lot of civil streams. Um, I've been forklifting with everybody in the civil streams, fancy streams all the time. I, I've been telling Fancy to get a damn face cam, but you know he doesn't listen to, to, to me. You know, I don't understand. You know, you're kind of ugly. It's okay, man. I, I have no hair. I'm old. Like, I'm ugly too, bro, but it, it, but it helps. You know what I'm saying? You know, fancy, but you gotta get something done. You gotta get something done. Face cams are sold out. I, if fancy, I swear to God, if I go on Amazon right now and there's a face and there's a fucking webcam, you better gift Swift twenty fucking subs. I, I listen, bro. If I go on, I'm listen. I, this is why they watch. We have these abilities. We have these abilities. Let's go, boys. If I go on Amazon. Let me zoom this bitch out a little bit. Amazon is a glitch. I'm telling you, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Webcam. This is the one I got. Damn, I can't lie. I do have this one. It's like my secondary camera. Okay, 230 is a little high. Okay. Okay. Okay, right here. Look, $60. Yayan webcam. Here we go right here. 50 Bro, all right. I mean, dude. Full webcam, $75. Here we go. Hey, look. Look at this one, $44. Here we go. Full webcam, built-in noise reduction microphone, stream webcam for video conferencing. Okay, $76. At, arrives May. Okay. I mean, you know, you're not going to get it that soon, but you're going to get it. I will also tell you what I did notice. Yo, there's this place right here. I don't know if you I don't know if you ever been here. I know we're in a pandemic. You know, I know we're in a pandemic right now. So it's tough to go to Walmart. But I don't know where Fancy lives. But I was in Walmart yesterday. I was in Walmart yesterday. Here we go. <laughs> Megapixels. $19 at Walmart. 19 if you want to go 1080, there we go. We go 50 bucks. You walk in a Walmart. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I don't want to hear no more excuses out of fancy, bro. I don't want chat. Can we agree? We want no more fancy excuses, bro. Listen. Some people want it and some people need it, bro. He just he that's what happens when you're rich. See, rich people don't rich people. See, that's why I like Civil, bro. Civil is my favorite TNC member, bro. By far, I've been to the bar with Civil. We've been to the club. Civil is the man, and he's got the forklift emo. Civil gets it out the mud, baby. He's a hardworking man. He's been grinding. He's got a whiteboard with his subs. Yo, he is a grinder. The rest of these TNC dudes, nah. I can't get I can't get jiggy. I don't know. They gotta show me. Yeah, they gotta show me that. You know what I'm saying? They gotta show me that they're really they 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 want it. You know what I'm saying. But D. Croft be having a face cam up too. You know what I'm saying? He be he be he be grinding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you put this put the forklifts out there. No. See, now Kev, see, I, don't, I see I feel like fancy fancy is a, a frugal individual. Many of many of nights I've spent talking to fancy in 2K chats, he's a very frugal individual. I respect a frugal man. Man, we got mad forklifts. Because it was one time when Fancy was the winner of... Uh, I, I'm not going to get into it. Chichirito, you're TNC? Chichirito? I don't know who's TNC or not. I really don't, bro. Chichi, well, Chichi is kind of Chichi. Well, Chichi is up. To, he, he's up. To, he's up the rankings too. That's my guy. This is not a. It's a fucking wall. I have a green light in my room right now. It's a wall. I could make it a green screen. I've been thinking about what I'm gonna do with this wall, but I don't know where how long I'm gonna stay here. So, yeah, Fancy is frugal, bro. He's a frugal human being. 
Jay Wall, oh, he's rich. Jay Wall's rich. Anybody that plays ball to JCC is fucking rich. You know how much the JCC... The JCC is $100 every day you go in that bitch. Or you're Jewish enough to the point where you're like, you have like a... Your whole family has a lifetime membership. Like, you never got to pay for nothing. You've been in the community that long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the JCC, bro. The JCC... I don't know if you guys really know. Yo, the JCC is like where like old retired NBA players play. That ass. Like, at least in Philly. I don't know where. I, I think Jay Wall lives up in, like, New England. But in Philly, I, my man Jay Vicious with the five yifted. Well, put some put some demons in the chat for my man Jay Vicious with the five yifted. Some demons. No, but for real, um, the JCC is, like, that's, like, that's the super... That's the super gym, bro. That's not even a gym. It's like, it's like a, a country club for. I I I can't even explain JCC, bro. Can't even explain it to you guys. I appreciate it. yo. We are closing in on fourteen hundred subs. Now I'll be real. Now this is something I did want to say about as we talk about the LCQ. I appreciate you guys, man, because. I have about the same amount of subs now as I did in August and September when the game was popping. So, uh, I mean, Madden, and I talk about Madden, Madden is as big as it's ever been. And that's why I talk about the big Knicks, bro. There's people that's grinding in this game that we don't know because Madden is huge. Madden is as big as it's ever been, and it's also as small as it ever will be. So it's only going up from here all around, man. So and I appreciate all the support y'all have given me. So I'm definitely hype about about this and what's going on with the uh, with Madden and everything. Cause like, think about it, it's April. It is April. It's April, and, and we got 300 people in here talking about fucking TNC. TNC is not, yo. They are not, you know, front page material yet. You know what I'm saying? They're not front page material. Are they going to take the step to become front page material? This is their opportunity. They have to seize that moment. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Madden is alive. Madden is popping. Now, I can't lie. Have y'all been watching? That's why I asked you. We're talking about Madden popping. Have y'all been watching the Sim games? Like, Bleacher Report and everything. Twitch, they put up Sim games. Bro, I should do that shit, bro. We should do Sim games, bro. I think we should do sim games. I think I should do a sim game a week. I think I should host the sim game, bro. Yes. I and there be pop, yes. I think I should do a sim game chat. I think I think I'm gonna go sim game Sundays, bro. I think we could do sim games. Yo, sim game Sundays is gonna be a thing. Sim Game Sundays is going to be a thing. Sim Game Sunday this Sunday. I'm letting you guys not know. Letting you guys know now. Sim Game Sunday. Now, as I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to call the games play-by-play. What are we thinking, bro? That's what I'm saying. And, and this is what we talk about. Sim Games is like, okay, the Sim Games are popping. But those are just like those are like gambling addicts, NFL fans. That I, where the fuck are them people coming from? Because those aren't the Madden community. Yo, the people watching that shit aren't the Madden community, right? No way. VS, I'm trying to find something that's popping. First class out. Yeah, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change. I, I like I like Simbet Sunday. I think that sound popping. Simbet Sunday. I, I'm, I'm Simbet Sunday, bro. I, I, that shit's popping. Now dude said do it Wednesday. Everybody want their own schedule. Like, motherfuckers, y'all boo some shit up. Yo, what if I could take... Oh, I mean, I can take bets. I don't know what the hell, bro. I gotta get Schmidt... I, listen, yeah, you're right. I know what to do. Yeah, run a race tournament, Rock. Yeah, that's a, that's a great fucking idea, bro. Rock, take 10 minutes to think about your life decisions, bro. Shit. 
she run a rings tournament. Yeah, rings. Yeah, rings. Rings tournament. Yeah, it's always some fucking rings guys, bro. I hate you guys. Rags is the dumbest shit in the world, bro. Yo, I ran... I, 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 and now, honestly, I played all idiots. But, bro, I ran read option every play and, and won this, this, this tournament on Saturday. I, all I did was run read option. The whole game. Whole re, uh, read option. Lamar Jackson is... Look, Lamar Jackson is like a... Bro. Lamar Jackson is a demon on Rags. A demon. On, on Mutt. Bro... You take Vic and Lamar Jackson on Mutt, they are laughable. Because in Mutt, everybody has 99 speed, or even the linebackers have 95 speed. Yo, he's not that big a deal. On Rags, yo, Lamar is just, it's like he's hes playing against all linemen. Yeah. Like, bro. <laughs> Lamar, bro, like, it's, you don't even got to think about nothing. No. Tyreek never broke it like I don't know I I'm be honest I haven't played I haven't played enough to really make crazy statements but the way I was playing with Lamar like I didn't even have to do anything really yeah yeah Lamar is just a glitch <laughs> yeah I, Rags really is the word Rags is the Rags is I hate Rags people like you yeah, Rags people are absolute like just you guys are like living under a rock that's what Rags people are living under a rock they are the definition of living under a rock. That's what race people are. But anyway, there will be a race tournament. So <laughs> no, all right. Race was never good. Race has never been good, bro. Right? I don't remember last. Maybe Man Seventeen. Maybe I can't remember. But but even even Rags with Julio and Man Seventeen was just dumb, bro. Simbet Sunday, boys. Yeah, right. Rags are dumb. <laughs> yo, and what's crazy is yo, I we used to play the shit out of Rags, like play the shit out of regular teams, like the I, we used to play the sh like we used to beat the game into the ground on the Rags. Now, bro, I'm cool. What's a what's a raise tournament? That's a good question. Bro, raise raise used to really be uh the shit. All right, but I want to talk about PS4 bracket. You guys know more than I do against the PS4 bracket. This is where we ask Jay Bird to. Now this is PS4. Now Yardstick is a guy that. You know, he's not a name, but he's popping some shit. Golden Glover's been grinding the game. Pop Skimbo. Now, I watched this game. Now, I don't know if... Oh, I'm not on the... Pop, the hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on, my bad, my bad, my bad. I watched Skimbo versus Golden Glover. Was not, was not pretty. <laughs> was not pretty at all. The yard's thick. These dudes have been grinding the game, bruh. They are the Jaybirds, Jaybird type. They are uh, who's other guy? Salty type. This dude's been grinding the game, and because they're not, you know, with Kiv or they're not with, you know, Ghost or they're not with Joke. Yeah, yeah, like they can't be tough. These dudes are tough. Yes, SC cap is too high for sure. Pro Bowls. Good question, bro. Cause you highlighted it, I answered. Yeah, I watched Golden play Skimbo. Honestly, I will tell. I, I don't know if anybody else watched this game. But Skimbo, this seven that Skimbo got was on a pick. He lurked the shit out. He just let Golden Glover just closed his eyes and do a pick six. Skimbo might have not had seven yards of offense. This game was bad. Like this was this was a, like this was. If you want to ever know how to defend bunch, bro, watch that guy. But uh, then yards, then he beat yards thick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Radiant popped up, beat Bears man, beat Pavin. Um, Radiant had to. Back out of the tournament. You know what I'm saying, he. I mean, he didn't play insane. I mean, he do the most ridiculously stupid fucking pick six of all time. So at the end of the day, if he was going to lose that game, it's because he do that wild ass pick six for no reason. 
That's why I say if he was a runner, if he was a runner, the game wouldn't have been like it. He actually, I mean, he didn't play. I, I, he played solid. He played a solid game for sure. Yeah, defensively, he just like mixed up. Yeah, anyway, but anyway, yeah, he he's, he played really good. But Radiant had to back out because the 2K League said he can't play. Now, I don't know why. I guess the um easiest thing to say uh, for me is um the 2K League essentially once Radiant is drafted into the 2K League, he kind of becomes like their entity. Or he becomes their uh, tool or their player. Like, he is the NBA 2K League's player. He's their property. Not, I don't want to say property, but he's like their, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not, like, he's their mar marketing chip, essentially. Like, bro, you're not going to promote that you have a 2K League player in the, and you know? They don't want Madden to promote that, you know, and use their player for promotion to get more views than the 2K League, essentially. Yeah, his his rights as a player and his, like, his brand is 2K League, you know? Empl it's, it's not really employee. It's not really employee. I guess it's employee, but I think it's more for a marketing thing. Like, you know, he's their, like, he's their star, you know, and they don't want somebody else using their star, really. Asset is the word, Donnie. Thank you. Asset. He is their asset. Yeah, that kind of is kind of ass. <laughs> that you know, you know, I just beat Pavin, who obviously is a belt winner and everything. But but Golden Glover goes right to the loser. He's in the the he's in the seat of the P4. He's in the got to beat me twice mode. Now, Donnie, can you help me? I don't know how this works, and I'm I'm kind of embarrassed that I don't know what's going on here. That what is up with this Final Four? Is it a live event? Is this like televised? Like what is going on here? Like why did we not finish this tournament out? Like what are we doing here? As we look at the other two people that are here, Yardstick versus Pavin for the opportunity to play Golden Glover and try to beat him twice. You know? Yeah. So, but for me, what I talk about, how is this event going to be done? And I do want to talk about, I almost made it a separate topic that I do want to talk about. Um, as I Let's talk about who y'all guys like in this. I mean, Pavin obviously has the, the experience uh, being Spoto. I, I believe Spoto tapped out of that game early. Um, so, Pavin and Yardstick. Obviously, the easy thing to do is say Pavin. Uh... Pavin is going to win because we know who he is, but Yarstick obviously is popping up. So, no, we didn't talk about TNC already. Thanks for joining, bro. You know what I'm saying? Radiant, bro. But Yarstick, Pavin, and then the Golden Glover. So, I mean, this is a tough little. We'll see what happens. We'll see what's going to happen, man. But like I said, it, it, as Donnie said, it'll be live at the end of the month. So what is it, the end of April? Live as in we're going to play a Final Four online. And uh, and, and we talk about this LCQ. Now, this LCQ was kind of crazy because it was the loser's bracket. It wasn't just a 32-man tournament. Yo, that shit was kind of deep, right? Um. So for me, we talk about these red zone streams and people streaming. Now, I'm not the biggest red zone stream person um it's uh it's tough to do and as a streamer i've always felt like bro like if i'm streaming my game i kind of want a viewer it's kind of cool to get viewers it is it's kind of cool to look down if you're such and such that's just playing this first tournament to look down and see damn i got 50 people watching me play mad it's pretty cool you know and as somebody that's been in that position it's like it's tough for me to rob a kid of that Opportunity, you know, and so for me, I've never been the biggest like red zone fan. Sometimes I do them because people ask me to do them all the time and commentate the games, blah, blah, blah. But for me, it's not that big a deal, uh, and I don't really like doing it. Uh, so, but ultimately, what I say is that I, I think EA should do it, you know, I think they should have a red zone. Now, it's not that far fetched because in Madden 17, EA did do something like that, they did do a red zone stream. Where they highlight all the players for for their x amount of you know thousands of viewers that would watch an ea stream because they would give out this card that card and let's watch some madden 
you know, I think it's something that they should do at least, you know, two, three hours of every night. Now that goes into, okay, who's going to do that? Who is it's, it's more work for that person, that said person or, but I also think that that would be the best thing to, you know, get the LCQ really popping. So I'm interested to see on how this last final four is going to work. Um, because uh, it could be great if they do it right, and I, I'm pretty sure that all their production has been very good. So I'm, I'm very optimistic of how well they're going to execute this Final Four. Uh, so we shall see how it goes. But uh, like I said, TNC dominated the uh, the, the Xbox part. PS4 is going to come down to Pavin, Yars, Thicker, Golden Glover, two really hot players that are playing well, and the former Club Series champion. You know. Um. But like I said, uh, let's talk about because Drini made this. Drini made uh, what's gonna call it? I honestly I don't think it's that much work, and and ultimately I feel like if they wanted to grow and the the bro viewership is king, man, and if they get more viewers on the LCQ, that's just a it's a better look for the entire MCS, and they they have the opportunity to do that, you know. Yeah, I, I do want to talk about Drenny's little house tweet because Drenny is bored. Drenny seems like a boring person. Drenny's just a boring person, bro. Great player, great friend, great guy. You guys meet Drenny. Hopefully, all you guys had the opportunity to meet Drenny one day. You know, but he's kind of fucking boring. Be honest. Drenny is so boring that he got into a club underage, snitched on himself in the first five minutes, and got kicked out. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. Like, and so for me, you know, Journey's, like I said, great guy, great friend, great Madden player. Kind of boring. As we see his, his quarantine house edition, bro. Now, let's take a look at this, man. Because I'll be honest, he didn't give you guys too much of a choice. You know, I he didn't give he didn't get too much of a choice here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be real here. I, I'm gonna break down these houses. I, I really just want to talk about them. House one, house one. Like, I was making a list of like what would be the worst possible. The worst possible house. If you could put seven Madden players, that would be the worst possibility. House one has about four of those Madden players. That would make it ass. I'll be honest. Like, Joke. Joke is my guy. I would not want to be in quarantine house with Joke. He would he would be calling up the cable company complaining. He'd be mad at who's taking out the trash. He would say, wow, uh, Spolo took out the trash last week, but he didn't take it out this week. How is that fair? That would be Joke the whole time. Joke is not a quarantine guy you want to go into quarantine with. You know what I'm saying? Noah, honestly, I don't know too much about Noah. I know he gets red and says, let's go, a bunch. That's all I pretty much know about Noah. You know, he has long blonde hair. He's got to be a prick, right? Like, come on. But I don't have nothing really that bad to say about him. But, you know, so I, he's, he's kind of a, I really don't. Rage? Come on, bro. Rage is like, oh, my God. What? Rage? Rage or little man, bro. Little man at least got jokes. Like little man got jokes. I, I little man has jokes. I could always kick it with little man. He will bust some shit up. Like he will bust your balls. And he will will crack on anybody. It'll just be roasting. Like little man's funny at least. Rage, nah, bro. Rage gonna have them glasses on. Bro, 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 bro. Do you think she'll like my tweet, bro? Bro, I like four pictures. Bro, bro. Bro, can, can I DM her? What should I say? Bro, 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 isn't she hot? Bro, bro, bro. No. And then, yo, and, and then Ray's got like this, Ray's got like this wine to him. Like, bro. Yo, y'all got, oh, Journey knows what I'm about. No. Shut up. Yo, if, if you're a man that says shut up, bro, that, shut up. Bro. Shut up. I swear to God. That is rage. 
So now we got Joke who's complaining about how many people do chores per day compared to him. Guaranteed. He's going to have a whiteboard. I, I did the dishes. I took out the trash. This is just unacceptable that you guys have not done your chores today. That's Joke. You got Noah who's just long hair yelling, let's go. And then Rage. No. Scheming. Cool and chill. Scheming would be on. Scheming is a, a good guy to have. I'm not mad at Scheming. You know what I'm saying? Not mad at that. Skimbo? Nah, bro. Skimbo. It depends, bro. I, I, bro, I don't know, man. He, like, nah. 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 Can't, can't, can't do a lockdown with Skimbo, bro. I, I don't know the last time I've seen Skimbo outside if it wasn't literally at the tournament. Honestly, I really don't. I bet Skimbo like five dinners on the leaderboards, right? I, I said, Skimbo, let's bet dinners. And you know why? Because I really didn't give a shit. Because I'm probably never going to see him again. Like, unless it's like, bro, like, he doesn't come outside. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I, that's, that's, the, that's the glitch, right? You, tell, you just bet dinners. Especially with people that don't come outside. Because you'll never get to pay the dinner. You know what I'm saying? Joke is definitely labeling shit in the fridge. Yo, Joke is labeling this shit out of shit in the fridge. <laughs> this might be mine, but I'm not sure, so ask before you eat it. Bro, this is... Yo, House 1 is the worst shit ever, bro. House 1 is the worst shit ever. Like, this is the... Like, bro, I... Bro. House 1 is the worst shit ever. Then you got Spoto. Seems kind of cool. But he's like a, like a bratty little, like, bro, like a little whiny little fucking kid. Like, oh, my God. Like, Spoto, like, like oh, my God, bro. Like, Spoto ain't never fight nobody. Spoto ain't never been just punched in the mouth. Just like, no, shut up. Bam. He never just been like, bam. Ever. It's never happened to Spoto. Ever. You know what I'm saying? But he's, he's not the word. He's probably... Behind scheming for coolest on this, 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 he's probably behind scheming for coolest in this house. And then on top of that, he got the nerve to put Wesley last. Then they add Wesley to them. Oh my God, bro! Oh my God! Yo, this house is hell. Like, bro, this house is. I, I'm not taking out the trash joke. I took it out on Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> Get Noah to do that. No. No. Uh. <laughs> and then you got, you got rage. Bro. Bro, I took out the trash yesterday. Shut up. Shut up, bro. Bro. <laughs> That's rage. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm not. <laughs> Yo, house one. House one is the worst, bro. Yo, this is definitely hell. <laughs> they got civil disputes between Joke and Wesley. Bro. Bro. Wesley could do... Wesley could add some good things because he could do farming and shit. He could add... So Wesley isn't... Bro, it's just... Bro, between Rage and Joke... Uh, the other guy... Like, Skimbo... Skimbo just... Like, he... he, he they he too boring. No, I don't really know. All I know Noah is yelling and saying, let's go. That's all. But, yo, between Joke Rage and Wesley, oh, yo, get, yo, I'd jump out the second balcony. I would do a swan dive out the second balcony the first week. I don't want to do the garden today. Uh, joke, I took, out the I took out the trash yesterday. I don't want to do the garden. Here go Joke. Joke got a thousand. Joke is a post-it note serial killer. Joke has so many. How many post-it notes does Joke have in the quarantine house? On fucking everything. I, I just, my TV time, I'm saying, post-it note bandit. I promise, man. Mm-hmm. Hella post-it notes. Chore list, everything. He know, he know the last time you did a chore. He might be a clipboard type. Joke might be a clipboard quarantine house type. Clipboard, just flipping pages, like, okay. Bro. <laughs> and Rage, bro. Rage, where the fuck is Rage? Rage ain't doing, what, what, like, what, what is Rage doing right now? 
You ever think about, like, what is Rage doing? On Tinder? You know, the quarantine's not that bad. We could still hang out. We could definitely hang out. Dude. Like, you know, I, I know I'm not sick. And if you know you're not sick, we could hang out in the car. <laughs> I swear to God. Yo, that, that is rage right now, bro. All right, enough of House 1. House 1, bro. Where we made up these lists is crazy. Wow, bro. All right. So house two, we got crush. Crush is kind of a glitch. I'll be honest. Crush is a glitch. He's cool, goes out, and he's chill. He doesn't know how to stare properly. Can't you ever meet somebody that doesn't know how to stare? Like we all look at some ass and some titties all the time, right? No, nah, Clarence Winchester, bro. Crush don't know how to look. Like I swear, like in in. in, in What's crazy is like it's not it's not a joke. Like he doesn't know how to look. Like when you know how well like, you'll look. Like say this is your drink. You want some like like some like <clears throat> damn <clears throat> no like <coughs> no like he like there is no sneak crush me like this. And he don't blink. He don't blink. There's no blink. Just... And the mouth just gradually just opens up like. And you know the cycle like when they like he's got his drink, right? So he just sips the drink without any of this changing. He takes a drink without any of this changing. It's just like. Swear to God, that's how it is. And if you guys, if you guys have been there before, that's how it happens. He don't blink or nothing, just straight like, bro. Yes, and yo, it's like to the point. And user told me this one time. I had to bump him like, yo, bro, you gotta chill. Like, Crush gonna get in a fight one day at the club. Now I will tell you, I, from hanging out with Crush, I, oh, I, I trust Crush. Crush will throw down. I already know. He looks like that type. Not, I don't know if he ever has, or if that's like that's what he. Do, but he looks like, bro. He's ready to go at all times. I just feel like that, bro. He just he is like, it's crazy. But he'll get better at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. He just all you gotta do is gawk at the wrong person. Gawk is just a weird word. I don't like the word gawk. It just sound that 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 word just sound like that word just sounds like I shouldn't be using it. My man Ao strong with the sub man. You know what I'm saying okay, so then we go fancy. Try, honestly, fancy seems like, uh, bro, like I don't know what fancy's bringing to the table in the house, bro. He fancy, fancy seems like a heavy chore type of guy. Like he's gonna, he's gonna hold down the chores, bro. Like fancy gonna fold the shit out of some sheets. That's how I feel about fancy, bro. You know what I'm saying that's how I feel about fancy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying he was, he gonna fold some sheets, bro. Fancy, you be on the jewels? Fancy, you don't be on the jewels, Fancy. Fancy be on the... That's sick. Yo, I would... Yo, Fancy... Hell yeah, Fancy definitely do the, do the dishes. Nobody gotta ask. Then you got ghosts, bro. Honestly, as I look at this list... Nah. Ghosts... I have never seen ghosts outside. I don't even think I don't even think I've ever seen ghosts come to like a dinner. You know what I'm saying? I, I like I don't think I've ever seen ghosts outside. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. But ghost ghost ain't doing no chores. He went like he not doing he ghosts really not add anything to the party, I'll be honest. Ghost, Ghost ain't bringing shit positive. I'm trying to think about something positive that Ghost brings, but I just, I, I just, I can't see it. I can't see something positive. I mean, Ryan's a good, but Ryan, the new married Ryan, 
is like he's different, bro. We got we uh, see. I don't understand this. Everybody talks about Ryan. They like okay, this is Doug the Pirate. No, it's not. Doug the Pirate jumped off the plank, man. This is married Ryan. He is not doing anything fun. You know when I knew Doug the Pirate jumped off the plank, off the plank, bro. We went to uh, last time we were in LA. He was like, yeah, I brought my wife. I didn't see him the whole time. Doug the Pirate jumped off the plank. It's over for Doug the Pirate. It's cooked. Then we got Jay Mills. Yo, Jay Mills. Yo, I don't think I've heard Jay Mills stop talking for more than like 30 seconds every time I've been with him. Like, he's never been quiet for 30 seconds straight. Ever. Jay Mills, yo, he's just fucking talking, 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 talking. Bro, Mills don't shut the fuck up, bro. I'm gonna be real. He might be the bottom of this whole group. He might be, bro. Nah, man. No, I, I just have a wall, folks. Mills don't stop talking, bro. Mills, bro. Yes, Mills gonna leave some shit back. Yes, guaranteed. Or he gonna have boots on. Or he gonna have, like, sweatpants. Yes, I agree. Mills is... Mills... Bro. Jay Mills don't... Yo, bro. You know what I realized? When I first met Mills, it was like Madden 17, um, the whatever live event. we uh, And we're sitting there. You know, when you sit there at a live event, you, and all the other players that aren't playing watch the game. Bro, he, every play, he'd say what somebody did wrong and what he'd do better. And mind you, the other like eight man players were like, Mills, shut the fuck up your ass. Like, that's all we're thinking. But nobody's with really, and, and when you talk, it's just like, all right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. But every play. Damn, man, quarterback sneak, man. He should have ran that to the other side. The other side, better on quarterback sneak. I swear to God, every play. Every play. The field goals. The field goals. It's like, bro. Mills got the raps. Yeah, Mills has the raps. You ever know somebody that has the raps? Mills has the raps, bro. Mills has the raps. The worst is a woman with the raps, though. Yep. I'm saying. But uh, okay, so then you got Kiv. Kiv is is a positive. I mean, I don't see. I really don't see no negatives about Kiv. I mean, he gonna take a long time in the bathroom and shit. He gonna like getting ready. He gonna he gonna monopolize the bathroom. But I really don't see that many negatives. Pavin, he's gonna have his photographer dude with him. You know what I'm saying. He going and Pavin got a lot of JC Penny plugs, so you're gonna have you gonna have all the jeans, all the jeans you can get, and all the accessories from JC Penny. So that I mean, those are two positive players right there. You know what I'm saying I don't have anything bad to say about Pavin or Kiv, you know. So how's two how's two other than Ghost and J Mills having the raps? I mean, it's not a bad house. You know, I think it's a quality house. House three House three might be worse than house one, bro. House three might be worse than house one. The only thing saving house three is probably Clef and Problem. Honestly, I, I, I just, you know, when I, I thought about, I thought about house three and I thought about Bugs a lot. Cause it's my friend, right? Bugs is fucking boring. Like between Drenny and Bugs, bro, like the paint is drying. The paint is drying between those two human beings. And then Blocky, bro. Blocky, I, I said this, yo, I would play Blocky for like four or five games of Madden straight and literally not say a word. Have y'all ever had somebody on a mic and not said, like, bro, like, I'm talking hours of Madden. Just not a word. Yo, Blocky is a, bro, he's a psycho. Then that's, and that's the positive of Boogs. Boogs going to keep the house healthy. You know what I'm saying? If there was a way to get Bugs and Wesley, because Wesley can do the farming and Bugs can like call, tell him what plants to grow and, and the cooking and shit, that might be a good combo. But but just but just Bugs alone, I mean Bugs don't know how to do no gardening. You know what I'm saying? Block you off the purse for facts, bro. Bugs, out of this power rankings, you not top yo, you you might be bottom five, bro. Like would I rather be uh, would it rather be Kratobin or Bugs? That's a toss up for me, honestly. Yep. 
Yo, yeah, but like, yeah, like Blocky, bro. Blocky don't have the raps. Blocky is like the the opposite of Jay Mills, bro. If you could take Jay Mills and Blocky and combine them, people would talk. It, that person would talk the adequate amount for a human being. Jay Mills, Blocky, their amount of conversation throughout the day, combine them two. That's an average human being, right there. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just how I feel. And the and problem... Problem will get tired of J-Wall. Like, I already know, like, bro. Problem be like, sit your little dumb ass down. Like, J-Wall definitely... Bro, y'all think it's... Yo, you know what, under, what I understand, though? You know what I... Yo, J-Wall really doing TikTok dances. Like, y'all think, like, it's a joke? J-Wall tries to come up with a new dance every day. One million percent. He is fucking practicing dances. He is like this in the crib. One million percent. One million. And what's crazy is we will never see the footage. And he'll front. But he one million percent is hopping out the camera. You know how they do? When they be over here, they be like... J Wall is doing that shit every day, every day, every day. No, he might send y'all the TikToks, but y'all not seeing the, the shit that doesn't go well. Y'all not seeing the bad ones, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, y'all not seeing the y'all not seeing the bad y'all not uh, bro. It's crazy. And what's crazy, bro? One day he's gonna go. He's gonna go viral. And he's going to laugh at Madden. He'll be like, you dumbasses were playing Madden. All I had to do was do a dance, and now I'm a millionaire. Watch. Watch how this sick world works. Yes, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Look, look at all you assholes worried about Pass Rush Elite. I just did a little hickety high, and now look at me. I'm a millionaire. It's going to happen. But I know, between Drenny, Boogs, and Blocky, bro, like, bruh. Then you got Clef. You can't have Clef. I thought about Clef would be a positive, but no. Last time I shared living quarters with Clef, he was pissing all over the ground. How can he be an acceptable house quarantine person? How can he be a positive? Like, let's be real. It just can't happen. Clef not doing chores. House 3 is just playing video games, bro. House 3 is playing video games. <laughs> House three is ass, bro. Tell you, House three is ass. <laughs> Clef was like, he's like, you know, when I was drunk, <laughs> when I woke up and realized I pissed all over everything. <laughs> he had to go to the laundromat. In the middle of a mad tournament. Because he pissed all over. And yeah, oh, this is a good person to have in my house. What? <laughs> He's like, oh, you ain't never been pissy drunk? Bro. Bro, house four is like, un house four. Bro, this isn't even, a, this isn't even like a competition, honestly. It's really not. House two was cool. You know what I'm saying? But, it, bro, how? Bro, y'all don't understand. See, y people really don't. People really don't understand how glitchy like the Mo and User combination is, bro. Like that's just a glitchy. That's a glitchy duo. User and Mo are. That's a glitchy duo right there. They y'all don't understand. You know what I'm saying. And then you have me. Like I gotta be like number one on the power rankings of person to hang out with and be in a quarantine house. I mean, I gotta be number one on the power rankings. You know what I'm saying? Volt, Volt is a glitch, bro. Volt, Volt, you know how glitchy Volt would be for the crib? Like, he's got to be glitchy. Bro, he would find out everything. He'd be like, Volt, yo, this circuit don't work. I don't know why I can't get no power. To this. Volt would figure this shit out. And Volt has no, bro. Honestly. Volt really has no downside. Honestly, he really don't. He don't talk a lot. He just be chilling. Bro, Volt just be chilling. He really does. Y'all don't understand. He just be chilling. Yeah, he would figure some shit out. Volt would figure out a way to save laundry detergent, right? Y'all talk about he would figure out a way to like cut the laundry detergent and save it longer. 
know what I'm saying? Who's doing the chore? I mean, yo, Prodigy is doing the fuck out some chores. Let's be honest. Prodigy, Prodigy is our fancy. One million percent. Prodigy 1,000% is our fancy. 1,000%. Prodigy cooking breakfast, bro, and he chilling. I, 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 bro, Henry doing some chores too, bro. Henry has glasses. Yes, and we have little man. Like, what do we have fucking little man? Bro, like, that's the... Yo, little man... Bruh. Little man is like... I, bro, I don't understand how this is even competition, bro. Bro, house four is glitched. I mean, we would definitely get tired of little man, but little man knows we could just like like smack him once and he'll be cool, bro. Radiant dropped out because he essentially is the 2K League's asset. And the 2K League did not want him participating in another gaming event. Bro, first of all, which four houses would win in basketball? Our team would be ass. Probably two. Two had apparently Ghost can shoot a little bit. They got J Mills. I know Ryan can play a little bit. I think House Two. House One. There's no way House One wins, bro. No. I see scheming. Unless Noah's like six five. Alright, they don't got a chance, bro. House three? Bro, how is House 3 playing basketball, bro? Who? Crit and J-Wall are good? All right, well then, all right. Our house would be ass. We'd be ass. Yeah, I I, I didn't know that J-Wall and Crit Tobin could play. That's I, I really don't know. Bro, who has more fun, bro? Y'all want to play sports. Motherfucker, I'm 32 years old, bro. I'm not fucking 16 anymore. Golly. And why is Journey capping? Like, Journey Journey is bottom tier on the athletic... Uh, from the athletic things on this list, he is bottom tier, bro. He is bottom tier. Ain't nobody playing sports in quarantine. My house is chilling. My house is chilling. Niner. Oh man. All right now. All right. If no. All right now. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Um. Let's talk about House Five. Who would be in House Five? And like, if there's another house that people that wasn't the top seven people that wasn't on the list, bro. House Five, bro. Who's in the House Five? Civil, Civil, and Throne? Is that, is that the three? Civil, Civil, and Throne, and K-Mac? <laughs> and J-Bird? Beast Mode? Alright, let's talk let's about House 5. Let's see House 5. Let me see. House five, boys. Beast mode. Already a crazy house. Already a crazy house. Oh. House is already a little nuts.
Who else is in the house, chat? Who else we got in here, bro? Oreo! Niner? Niner, Niner? Oh my god, this is a sick house. This house is sick. This, uh, this house is sick. <laughs> Yo, this house is sick. <laughs> and Joel? Ain't no way we put it. Bro. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Alright, y'all lost. Oh, I think we got one more. How many people is it? No, that's seven. Bro, ain't no way. <laughs> Yo, ain't, no. Beast Mode doing hella chores. Y'all got Beast Mode chopped. Beast Mode is doing chores. The EA house? But Gee, what if we had the EA house? Who's in the EA house? <laughs> you know it's the EA house. The EA house might be glitchy. <laughs> Art. <laughs> oh no, the EA house might be bad, bro. EA house might be bad. EA house might be bad. <laughs> Farls. <laughs> Yo, the EA house is bad, bro. Try, oh, no, I'm try to add Travis. No, no, Travis can't be on. The be easy guy. Be oh, shit. And then Gibbs. Is Gibbs the last? Clint? Clint. <laughs> I can't lie, bro. The EA house is crazy. The EA house is crazy, chat. The EA house is crazy. I can't lie. House one on Journey's list might be over the EA house. House one might be over the EA house. House one might be over EA. Who you got, chat? House one or EA? I'll tell you right now, Marku is doing hella chores. <laughs> House one or EA? <laughs> Bro. Bro, 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 do you think she'll answer me, bro, 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 shut up. EA house, bro. Bro, it's only so many people we could put in a house, bro. Seven people in a house. You want to make another house? That's rage, ghost. That's rage. <laughs> bro, you fucking suck, Taylor. Bro, bro, answer my Tinder. Oh my gosh, she's so hot, ghost. Do you think I have a chance, bro? Bro. No, Wesley. Wesley is like, oh my gosh. No, Wesley's a little bit different. So you got, you gotta get the tendencies of the voices. Now, why would I do that? You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do the farm today. You know, I'm just the greatest ever. You know, now why would I do that? Why would I do the farm joke? Joke. Why would I do my chores today? I did my chores yesterday. Joke. Bro, bro, she's so hot on Facebook. Bro, dude. Dude, <laughs> tell you. Now why? <laughs> now why would I take out the trash? Why would I take out the trash? <laughs> Y'all are wild, man. Now why would I do that? Jesus. 
<sighs> Content creator. I'm not doing no more houses, bro. What, like the most ideal house of six people? Of six people from the man community? If we could have an ideal house. What would be the worst and what would be the best? What would be the worst and what would be the best? Dude. What would be the worst and what would be the best? I mean... All right. All right. Of people I could put on the list, I'm going to put... I, I. All right. Now, you got... This is my personal experience. So, it might be wrong. You guys might disagree. They might... You know, it depends on how you guys are feeling. Honestly, I really... You know, we'll see how you guys feel. But this is my personal opinion. Top seven house, bro. User, user got to be in the house, bro. User is on the short list of people that have actually bought me dinner. Got to be in the house. He's probably the richest. You know what I'm saying? He's the coolest. He got hella jokes. You know what I'm saying? User, I, user is in my top seven, bro. I'm be honest. Next, I gotta. I'm beyond, I gotta put Kiv. I gotta put Kiv on my. On my if, if I had, if I had a house, a quarantine house, and we were stuck, I gotta put Kiv on the list, bro. Kiv is probably like I don't probably went out with Kiv. He probably top five person I went out with as as talk, as 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 quantity as many times. Like in, he always rides out, bro. Gotta put Kiv on the list, bro. Kiv is on my list. I mean, it gets tough. Cause, uh, I mean, I could put Jag. I, obviously, Jag's the man. But do Jag does like does he count? I mean, I guess he's the man. Cause at that point, now I gotta, I gotta put Tyronto on the list. Cause he's like the turn up king. But then it's like, do I want to do I want to think about chores? Do I want to think about chores? That's my question. You just want to have the seven people that's gonna have the most fun. You know what I'm saying? That that's the question. Skimbo is not I'm be real Skimbo's not even like close to the list, bro. That's what I'm asking. Do we want to think about chores? Do you think Jag's doing chores? I don't know if Jag is doing chores. I feel like and civil, honestly. Civil is a person that had went out a lot in LA, and I feel like he's 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 a get you know roll the sleeves up, do some hard work around the house type. Civil is he's he's flirting with getting in the last house. Jack Jack, I feel like Jack got to be on the list, bro. I feel like he just my experience in the last five years. Jack got to be on my list, bro. He got to be on the list, bro. He got to be on the list. I I definitely need. I, civil might, I mean, I just, I don't have that much civil experience that I would, you know, maybe put him up here on the top tier. He's forklift certified, so he he knows some hard work. So, I'm going to be real, civil is, he, he's a decent, decent choice here. Toke is not on the, no. I need some chores done. Bugs, yo, if Bugs were to make the house, bro, it would literally be for making sure we ate good and doing chores. Bro, Clef pissed on the floor last time I was with Clef, bro. And the other time, we went on a cruise and he fell asleep when Cardi B was on the stage. I don't know if Clef is top tier, bro. He can't be top tier. Jack is like LeBron. No, but the forklift... If you have forklift... License that means you've been around work though. You don't just like show up at Walmart and get a forklift a forklift license the next day, bro. You might nowadays, you know, they just give away shit for shit. But I feel like to get a forklift license, you've been around work for a long time. Yo, yo, Cloud can't be on the list, bro. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I got it. 
I gotta put my man Kerry Q on my list, bro. Gotta put my man Kerry Q on the list, bro. Kerry Q. See, y'all don't understand. See, Kerry got me on the list. I'm definitely on the list. I mean, what? Well, so, so if I'm on the list, I mean, I feel like, yo, I can't lie. Ryan would be on this list, bro. He would be on this list, bro. He would be on this list right now. But, yo, he let me down. He changed, bro. Like, Ryan changed. I want to put Ryan, but, bro, he changed, bro. The old Doug. The old Doug the Pirate. But that's six people. I need one more person. I feel like... I mean, we, Re, I mean, Rico would be kind of glitchy though. AKG, let me put AKG here. That's definitely the choice, bro. AKG is definitely the pick. Yeah, yeah, fucking AKG, bro. Would it be Rico, or would it be Mark Dog? <laughs> we, I will. Really? It's up to Jag to do all the chores right now, bro. BG? Who is short here? Carrie not short? Ryan not short? Kid not short? Who is short in this group? Yo, which person is short in this group? User is the shortest. Or Jag? T. Davis? T. Davis go to... He go the same way as Doug the Pirate. He tapped out, bro. Jay himself. Oh, that man, I'm tripping. My man V Tech right there, bro. Y'all, I, I almost tripped out, bro. I almost tripped out. That's an easy choice. That might be my house. That might be the glitch house, bro. Bro, Throne. Bro, Throne is in like top 50. Do y'all understand the last time I seen Throne, he was throwing up in the back of a, 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 a truck? You know what I'm saying? The worst possible house. Bro, the worst possible house. All right, the worst possible house. No. Tr All right, the worst possible house. Bro, this is, I mean. <laughs> All right. All right, that's over. What is it, Oreo? Oh, Jet would be glitchy too, bro. Jet would definitely be glitchy. House one. <laughs> no, Wu would not be corn. Wu would not be bad, man. It'd be funny. Is Oreo? I don't think Oreo's bad. Oreo did go on a roller coaster. Yo, Oreo went to an amusement park by him fucking self instead of hanging out with us. Bro, do you know how insane that is? But do you know how insane that is? No, I'm going to go on a roller coaster by myself instead of hang out with all my friends. Bro, that's insane. That's psycho shit. Maybe he didn't want to drink. Maybe he's not a drinker, bro. And I always tell y'all, man, like, yo, it's not about drinking. Like, you don't have to drink if you go out. Like, look at Drenny. Drenny's always out. When, Drenny, when we go to Chuck E. Cheese, Drenny goes and eats his pizza, and then he goes in the crib. Like, he hangs out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Great America. Yeah, like I, I understand that you don't gotta you don't gotta do, go go out for that. So no Oreo not knowing though. Like I, Oreo not on the worst list, bro. Who else who else oh, damn Little Man not on the worst list. Oh Oreo not on here, bro. Disney Journey not Journey one Journey one Journey has no negatives. He just has no positives. That's Journey as a human being, bro. He got no positives and no negatives. His, his, no, he got as far as like being in the house, like he got no negatives but no positives. He don't bring nothing to the table, but he don't take anything away from the table. He just a body, really. Shakobi, no, Shakobi would have been on the worst. But since that, since he took over LA, bro, I can't say nothing bad about Shakobi. I don't think nine. I don't think. I don't think Niner would be on the worst list, bro. Ghost could be on the worst list, bro. Ghost, 
But I feel like... <sighs> I don't know, bro. Oh, Matt, there is. Yes. Matt. Yo, Matt. What? I figured out how to take the trash out faster. If I take seven steps northeast and one step north, I get to the trash can a little bit faster. You know, I don't know if you guys are doing that. Also, if I hold the trash bag in my left hand, I'm able to move a little swifter through the gate. And it helps my, my recovery from when I drop the trash bag. Million percent. Master Gamer, bro. One million percent does Master Gamer. One mi oh my god. Blackie is now in the negative. No, I don't think Joel is a negative. The worst house. Oh, bro. Oh, man. I'm just, bro. I, I, this four. This four is like. I don't know what we have this four. This four is untouchable right now. No, it's just not true. You know, I, I realize if I if I if I move with my left hand and hold, I hold the trash can at an elevated angle. I can get the trash can in faster, move quicker. Also, when washing dishes, the Brillo pad is much more effective if you use the angle from 90 to 45, 90, 45, 90, 45. If you mess up a little bit, you can recover. But if it's not an RPO, you're not going to get that same cleaning. You're not. It's just I, I tried it. It's just it's the best. It's the best. It's the best method. It's no, no. No, it's it's the best. It's the, it's the best scrubbing method. Master gamer, bro. It's the best. I'm telling you, man. I don't know, bro. Who else? Oh, pff, we gotta put Marku. Gotta be in here, bro. Marku, one thousand percent is in here. Yep. We got two more names. We got two more names. Bro, we got two more names, man. Damn. <laughs> no, Xerxes. Cullenberger. Bro, Clint. No, nah, Clint is cool, bro. Salty. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Yo, salty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this house is hell. Oh man. <laughs> Yo, the salt meister. <laughs> Yo, this house is hell right now. Bro, one more name, man. One more name. Kobo. Spoto? No. Spoto not there, bro. Problem Child? I don't know enough about Problem Child, really. Woo? No. Woo, woo. This house would make Woo cool, bro. Woo would... You know how... Yo, Woo would really be the coolest person in this house, bro. Woo can't be <laughs> Ratatouille. Don't care about ice. Yo, this this house is sick. This house is sick, bro. Like this house is sick. Hey, George is the man. Bro, Rat or GMI like bro, like Y'all pay attention. Honestly, I don't know enough. <laughs> Zan? <laughs> we put Zan in here? <laughs> bro, imagine Zan and Master Gamer, bro. Yo, Zan, <laughs> Zan and Master Gamer. Bro, you put Zan, Master Gamer, bro. Oh, man. Banks? <laughs> Zan and Matt would be sickening, bro. M tweets. <laughs> Put M tweets. M tweets. <laughs> no, bro. We're not putting M tweets on in my in the house, bro. It's gotta be better people than M tweets, bro. We're not thinking outside the box right now. Yeah, I really Zan would be hell. Yo, we put Zan Yo, we put Zan on this list. Yo, this list is hell. <laughs> Shocker 360. 
Bro, this list is hell right now. Yeah, Matt and Zan in the same house, bro. Alright, so you had to live in this house for the rest of quarantine, bro. No, but I feel like Banks is cool. <laughs> I feel like Banks is cool. Does Mark who hell no Mark who don't seize control? Salty would be the leader. No, Joke Joke would wind up being a leader, bro. Yo, that's why how would this how would this house hold together, bro? You think Zan would take control of the house? Coach K. Let's put Coach K in here. Where my man Larry Ridley at? Mills. No, Mills not Mills not on the worst house. Oh, that house is sick though, bro. That house is sick. I mean, all this at the end of the day, boys, bro, this quarantine shit is crazy though, really. Zane would try to take over. No one would listen. Salty would... Bro, salty rage. <laughs> Yo, that house would be sick. That house would be sick, boys. Oh, man. Salty's a leader, bro. I believe in Salty as a leader. I do. Honestly. But I appreciate y'all, man. But like I said, man, this this uh quarantine shit is crazy. I hope all you guys are staying safe. E money, yeah, I'm in Madden Bowl, man. Sub only, man. I'm in Madden Bowl, sub only. Hit that button. I'm saying, hit that button right there. Here you go, right here, bro. Sub only. Games tonight. Games tonight, boys. I pop some shit. Matt and Bull. Bro. It's crazy, isn't it? By the way, this quarantine shit is scary. I hope I don't have to leave the crib again for like the, another week or two. Hope Have you guys gone out? Hopefully y'all cool. Hopefully y'all stay in the house, man. I'm, I'm afraid of everybody. Every person that cough, I take a sip of water and cough. Y'all killing me, man. Fourth? Niner, why we need four, bro? Niner, but we'll talk about it. Let me, let me close this out. We'll talk about it. But this was the Nita Podcast. This is episode 75. You'll 75 straight weeks on Tuesdays. If you guys did not watch this live, twitch.tv. All them links are below. For you to watch it live. I appreciate y'all being in the stream. Like I said, this is about us talking shit and talking about Madden and busting each other balls. That's all it really is, man. It's all jokes. Do not take it personal. Um, I'm sorry if you're offended. I mean, we are all family. I appreciate you guys. I feel like I say that every time because some people be a little bit in their feels, man. I really only made fun of Rage. And I know, uh, you know I'm saying Rage, Rage is easy to make fun of. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all coming by. This was episode 75.